Hello there YouTube, this is Haunting Studios, and today I thought, why don't we do a Spirit Halloween 2023 tier list? Because, I mean, this year we got a lot of good stuff, but we also got some bad stuff. So why don't I just tell you my opinion on it all? So let's start with Ghost Swing. What is this? Why? Why is it back? Genuinely. Genuinely. I don't- I remember when this thing came out. I do not remember this song well. At all. Why? Just- just why is it back? Why? Like, I mean, I know it has like an LED on it now. And I don't know if it always had that or not. I never really paid attention to this prop, but... Why? Just- just why? Alright. Next up, we got Crypt Keeper. This one is hard for me, because genuinely, I think it's great to see him back, but he definitely got the original voice, and I like to refer to him as Feet Keeper, because he always looks like he's shoving his toes in your face. So, let's put him in like, mmm, mmm. You know what, I'll be generous, I'll put him in B tier. Cause he's actually pretty cool, I've seen a video of him. He's actually pretty neat. Alright, Darling Dolly, um... A tier, borderline S. She's so cool. Her jump scare is so cool. She lunges down at you. She's like an evil, like a monster doll. She reminds me a lot of Creepy Rising Doll, but just so much better. It's just, thank you Techie. Thank you Techie Toys. Thank you so much. Alright, Death Stalker. Easy S. Easy S. By far. This guy. He's just beautiful. I mean, he's this he's Krampus. He's a Krampus reskin. But it's got massive teeth and a massive mouth. And fog comes out with an orange light. In the dark? That looks insane it's just top it's top top prop top prop all right next prop um heckles um the deformities on this guy i've seen are really bad so i think i think i'll put him i like him though he's got good phrases you got a great personality i'll put him in like a tier. A tier. I'll put him in A tier. Because, I mean, the deformities don't truly kill him. I mean, Uncle Charlie 2020 is one of my favorite props, and his deformities were really bad. So, I'm not gonna let this destroy my entire opinion on this guy. Alright, Dagger Mike. Mmm. 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 Uh, C tier, C tier. I'll put it there. Because he doesn't do all too much, but it's a skelly bone to skin. It's not gonna do too much. I mean, I'm putting him in perspective for what he really is. So I'm trying to give him at least some sort of spot on the board. Alright, next up, Blackheart. Easy S. The concept on this guy is not something we've ever seen before is this reaper and he's got like he looks like he's just like hiding himself and then he opens his cloak and there's a woman tied up with like black gunk coming out of her mouth and her eyes and the reaper is like drooling the same black gunk and he's talking to her and telling her that together they'll like roam the night and stuff it's really really interesting concept and I may have to pick this one up for myself for my cemetery this year. Just the way the Reaper looks is so menacing, and his voice is just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. It's amazing. Next up, Slim. Easy S tier. This guy, the detail, he looks just like Slim from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Straight out of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's amazing how much detail they put into this guy. And apparently his outfit is really good quality. Only thing I would complain about 
is that once you get him, his hair is a little messy and his outfit is a little wrinkled. But that's nothing you can't fix without some stuffing and some combing. Other than that, let's go into stilts. This guy, when I first saw him, was one of my favorites. I absolutely adored him. Now, he's kind of had a second to grow off of me, but I still really like him. I'm still going to try and get him at the sale, but we'll see what happens. He's really cool. I lo love the bowling pins. We've never seen cl a clown with bowling pins before. I just think that's really interesting. Next up, Creepy Rising Girl. Um... This was a shocker to see her come, come back. I was really- I heard the rumors. I'm like, no. They keep, they keep other props on the website. But her was just a really lucky guess. But I'll put her not in B tier. I don't want to put her really there. Um, you know what? I'm going to do some flipping around. I'm going to put Crypt Keeper in C tier. And she's going to be in B tier. And Stilts is going to be in B tier. How's that sound? I feel that's a lot more fair. Because she's cool. She's just not really my favorite. But she gets she deserves a pretty decent spot up there. Now, Leatherface. What is this? It's the lowest one with a different outfit and a moving chainsaw. What is this spirit? $350. I could just go to Lowe's and get the Lowe's one for $280. What is this spirit? Do better. Next up, okay, we got um poor George. Poor George. I like this guy. Um, I'll put him in A tier because he's his scream is actually really unique for a clown laugh. Like he goes like, <laughs> and it's really, really, really cool. Pardon my horrible impression there, but he's really cool. And from the videos I've seen, he looks really big in person. So this looks like one of those that you're gonna have to see in person. Next up, Gordo. Um, he's cool, he's got the vine boom, I'll put him in D. I love the concept, he just, we've seen it before, I just like whenever we see it, it's one of my favorite ways to do a jump scare pumpkin, eh, it's really something we've seen before. Lil Jack Carver, this guy's actually grown a lot on me, I'll put him in A tier, he's, his pumpkin actually stays lit. The entire time he's plugged in, like, you know Cryo Chamber Corpse or Hey Bell Popper, Stay Lit? He does the same thing. And that's actually really cool. Um, I think he's a great jump scare. I love his face. It's actually pretty scary. Only con is that his pumpkin is really just a mask and not a full pumpkin, but I can get past that. Next up, Eternal Rest. This one I feel gets dogged on a lot just because of how expensive it is. But it's a actually really solid sale buy. I'll put it in D tier just with um, Gordo because they really are in the same boat, honestly. They both have the same pros and the same cons, honestly. Gargoyle. Um, it's cool. Expensive, but cool. I get where how expensive he is. It's cool. I'll put him in C tier because I see his appeal, but I just wouldn't buy him. Menacing Molly. I'll put her in uh, C tier 2. I see the appeal, then again, I'm just not gonna get it. Grave Walker. This one may be a shocker to you guys. B tier borderlining A tier. Because I love her head movement. She's a lot faster now. And I love the flickering on the candles. It looks a lot better than the OG in my opinion. Next up, Cotton Candy Cocoon, $150, dog, what is this, what is this, why, why, just, just why, <laughs> I mean, you could have done so much better, you could have contacted Trick or Treat Studios or something, sold that one, but no, you get the speech ball one, yeah, no, and also, scary saying scarecrow, no, copying the wicked makers, no. <laughs> just no spirit. Copying ideas? Th that's just really lazy. I expected better of you. So, so far, here's the chart, everybody. This year's looking pretty nice. Pretty nice so far. Not too much bad things. 
a lot of good things. I'm honestly, Spirit, you actually kind of impressed me this year. I'm very happy about that. Anyways, I'll make another one of these when the actual lineup drops, the actual entire lineup, but for right now, I just wanted to get my opinion out on these. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Check, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you know whenever I have a new video coming up. And make sure to share this channel with your fellow haunters. And with that, that concludes today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.